A few months ago, I made a video on how to make a Volkswagen Beetle spring plate compressor tool. Now, it was really easy to do, um, quite simple to make, and it works relatively well. Uh, so I was quite happy with it. I'll put a link to the, uh, the video above if you do want to watch that one. However, YouTube, as it does, started sending me links to Volkswagen service tool videos and stuff. And in one of those videos was a genuine spring plate compressor tool, which they, I assume they used in dealerships and stuff early in the day. And it looks remarkably similar to a standard Beetle Jack. <laughs> so this is an early bug jack. Um, I picked it up for 10 quid, so it wasn't expensive. And I think we can modify this relatively easily and make it into an even better spring plate compressor tool, which you can use with the body on and everything else uh, really easily. Let's have a go. I'm not sure if it's the design of the jack or if it's because it's a bit old and worn, um, but the jack works better as you're jacking the car off the ground, effectively. Uh, so it moves quite easily that way. If you, when you're dropping the car back down, it's not so good. So for that reason, we want to be able to crush between uh, those two parts. So the theory is, I'm going to remove this part here because it's not really needed as it is. And where it's pinned through, I'm going to cut down, and that'll create as a bottom hook, and that'll go under the spring plate. And at the top, I'm hoping I can reuse this part and re remount that at the top. Um, and that will hook over the top of where the, the damper mounts, uh, where the body mounts to the floor pan and the inner wing. Or it'll actually mount over the, the, the bolt itself. Um, so you can still use a compressor while the body's attached to the car as well. So it makes it even more versatile. So I'm just going to remove the, the white section at the top there. To release it, you also need to remove those to kind of hold it in place. So that's come from there, and this is hopefully going to become our bottom hook for the spring plate. I'm just going to tidy up the, uh, the grinder quickly. That's better. Because I want to attach this to, to here at more or less 90 degrees, it's not essential, but uh, just how I'd like it. Um, I'm basically going to be cutting this out here, and like that. Because of the lip underneath, it kind of fits naturally there, which is a nice place. Um, so if we cut this out at an angle where I've drawn it, um, this should be at 90 degrees to the stay on the jack, um, which is how I'd like it. Um, I've also checked to make sure that that's not too wide to go between the body mount. So should the body be in place and you have the body mount on the inner wing, you can still put that in place there and it should hook behind where the um, the body mount, mount bolt is. Um, so it should work with or without the body on, basically. Um, so we're just going to shape the end, cut the end off here and shape it so it's kind of a hook and hopefully it'll hold in place uh, either way. Right, now we've just got to attach it to the jack. For it to sit at more or less 90 degrees, it has to go right up to that lip underneath. So it has to go somewhere basically like that. So I'm just going to super technical. So just put it in place. Run around it. Cut that part off now, so that can go. And as if by magic, <laughs> that looked rubbish, I bet. Not perfect, but it'll do. Let's break out the welder. Just tried it on the car to make sure it does. Uh, it's at the right angle. Um, it say it's at more or less 90 degrees to the shaft, and it does seem to be okay at that. Right, it's attached. I was going to remove the foot, but I think I'm going to leave it. It's not really doing any harm. Um, ground it back to make it look regularly neat. I think we're done. Let's go and give it a try. How completely randomly, it came with no handle. And I've just found this in the back of the floor pan. <laughs> I have no idea if that's actually a genuine handle that's been knocking around my garage forever. Either way, I'll take that. That's awesome. Okay, let's give it a try. Now, apparently as a service tool, this wasn't used for 
lower end beetles and what they use it for is, is actually raising the axle and the axle tube so when it's uh, more horizontal and in line with the gearbox it means it makes fitting the um, the gearbox boots, the axle tube boots a lot easier because normally when you try and fit them they're kind of at an angle it's kind of tricky and also the axle tube's hard against the, the frame horns whereas if you raise it up easy peasy so uh, let's give it a whirl fingers crossed Ah, oh, that's so easy That is awesome. Super happy with that one. Cheers, guys. Take care.